Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. What is that huge shadow? Oh, it's that. Okay. Alrighty. Leo. Did I just say Aries? I meant Leo. Your overall energy could be the Ten of Cups right now. All right. Leo, week four of May 2021. I feel like Princess of Pentacles energy. I mean, um, wands. Leo. Something shifted with Leo's energy. Fall, please. Tell me about fall. Leo. Week four. That's an issue. Okay, I feel, I feel, um, okay, this is odd, not odd, I feel, um, fresh energy, they don't need to be a Leo, is somebody walking a Leo path, that's, that's something here, could be a north node, you have a sun, moon, rising Leo, okay, that not a good situation you have everyone has leo in their in their chart everyone leo the the planets they just don't go away when you're born right um it's like a new fresh leo could it be a rebirth yeah i doubt it though Something's being done real quiet. Or there's something quiet. I don't like this. I don't like the the dark. And it was just in the video too. It could have been in the Aries and all my other ones I didn't notice. I don't I don't like that. I don't I don't picture magic, but I don't I don't like it. Oh Lingya. And but I like this vibe. I don't know what that's about. That's a new family. That's a new contract. It's a new soul family. It's going in a new direction. It wouldn't be after this. It wouldn't be for that, Leo. It was like a good different Leo. And there's two people that are protected. You got that big monarch, monarchy of the family being like looking right at that darkness. I don't like that. I don't know if this is someone playing victim. There's something here that's not um that's not right. Jeez. Tell me about mute. It's fear. Yeah, fear. I but like dark fear. See something with summer and cycles. Mirroring. Observer. Yeah, I don't know guys, it's something creepy. There's something fucking creepy about that. I haven't had that type of vibe. I'm so, fuck that shit. I haven't had that type of vibe come in my readings in a long fucking time. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm separating that. I'm going to do, you know how I go on Patreon for Leo and your extendeds over there? I'm going to, right when this is up, I'm going to continue recording and give you your, everyone gets this extended. Because I, I don't want to freak you out. 
being like, oh my god, so you're welcome, okay? But that's, that's fucking no good. I mean, I had to cover it. Ugh. That's like black magic. But somebody who doesn't know how to play with black magic. That's ugly. That's real fucking ugly. Like real fucking ugly. As a reader, I don't even want to get into the depth of what that is. And I only have... And I got the goosebumps. See what I'm saying? And, um... I'm just pulling some cards. And I saw the dark shadow on the screen. You'll have to tell me if that was in the Aries video. Actually, I'm going to go into it right now. And see if it was. What's her favorite Nope, it wasn't. Okay, that, see, that's that's a big message, okay? Um, and I know it was just the camera, guys. I know, but... <sighs> oh, I did Aries Part 2. Okay, I did that last. So it's in the Part 2, which is Doc. The Part 2 is the karmic situation I read. And it's right there. And this is a karmic situation, okay? So, again, I, I'm not trying to freak you guys out, but it wasn't in the original. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries. But that came in, that's not the first time that story has come into play, dealing with an Aries and a Leo and a Sag, too. It was like all fire, and you guys could all be freaking Earth. It's just the way it was being played out. So, I, I'm, oh my God. See, it's like fear, darkness. I mean, cycles and cycles. I, I, This is the only thing that's positive right now. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's start with that. For those who are not dealing with this, a fucked up doc. I mean, there's somebody here. Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation. Meeting hesitation. So it's like, some, like I said, something's here. It's the right direction. And it's being protected. You got two people here. It's like supposed to come together. Remember that? I did a reading months ago. This card was so damn deep. And it's nobody's getting interfering. So somebody is in shady shit out of fear. Watching something go down. Not liking what they're seeing. Self-indulgence, focusing on self-worth, time to heal, shadow work. Yeah, you have no choice. That's energy. That's where someone's alone and they don't want to be alone. Look at all that fucking hair. Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, feeling a loss, breakup. So what is this person doing? Look at all the girl with the hair. You got three girls with, with hair right now. Brown hair, dark hair something's not right like I don't I don't think there's magic being done okay it's just the vibe lightning sudden change shocking news yeah see it's, it's like a tower not today not wanting to deal with it so maybe it's just you stubborn and you don't want to deal but I haven't had to cover up something like that and I'm telling you part two of the Aries that I did was the karmic side and now we hear it go again, karmic side, soul connection. And it's protected. So, and it's like, you've been holding on to this pain or wanting to get your way. 
I keep seeing the chaser. Um, so since fall, see the Grim Reaper relationships over, no second chances, time to grow and transform. So it's like, but yet still trying to do something. I don't know if it's shady or not. I don't know if you guys need to worry or not. Somebody who wanted to win. Somebody does not like the way it's, it's going down at all. Yeah, see? Not having it. Somebody else was involved or going in a new situ situation. It's karmic. It's reverse. Not going in the directions. Not wanting to see things differently. This could be emotional manipulation. Unless it's a Libra and a Cancer. But that's like using your emotions. It's the Four of Cups. See, it's like you didn't get the offer or something. You, It just, something didn't go in your direction. Yeah, see, you're pissed. Yeah, see, something got revealed. All right, and you're just not happy. You just don't want to see it. You didn't, it didn't go in your direction. You were probably bored and wanted it for the wrong reasons anyway. It was something that was definitely karmic. I don't know if somebody else came in between or it's just something you never let go of, it, but somebody else moved on. But you haven't. Because I do feel like this sad, this sadness. But there's, it's more than just darkness, guys. It's the Grim Reaper. Bounds, karmic. I don't even want to show you what I saw again. Again, part two of Aries was karmic. First thing coming out, karmic, dark, creepy. It's like you're getting some news you didn't like. Boy, you already got it and you're not dealing with it. And you're staying real fucking quiet. But in your quietness, it's not good. And it looks like you're emotionally trying to manipulate a situation. If you're dealing with a karmic situation, please heal, take care of yourself, find your way out. You've been holding on to something for too long. It's, you, it's, you can't have it back. And you're still trying to conjure. See, what is with this conjure? I don't even feel like this energy knows magic. It's to me, you were just, you were blinded. Like, you didn't want to see it. You feared this happening. And you're not dealing, but you have to deal. This feels sincere. But it's still karmic, and it's time to focus on yourself. See, this is telling me you're still focused on the wrong thing. You need a new soul contract, a new a path. This could be yours. Maybe love. No, see, there's no way that's yours. You wouldn't go from karmic and learning a lesson and then going into that. You're a karmic dealing with a karmic situation that wrapped up. You don't want to accept something. And the person you're dealing with is going in a new direction. You can't stop it. It's, it's protected. It's just tough. Because I feel such sincerity, like you had a really good heart. And then all of a sudden, you got news that you didn't like because something didn't go in your direction. And now you're fucking livid. And I don't know what you're up to. Yeah, see? I would say to think in conditioning, playing things over and over and over and over and over. Like you're not removing yourself. Codependent obsession, controlling, resisting, trying to block. Oh, man. All right. So, I, 
I can't help you out of this, guys. You got to help yourself out of this. That's a whole segment on on karma and chaos. I, I, you have to help yourself out of that. This is you not wanting to deal. But it's also because you wanted to win in a dynamic where you didn't. It's like didn't get your way. Spoiled brat. That's the representation of that card. Not wanting it when you could have had it. And now that somebody else came into the picture, you were throwing off the scales. You didn't want to see it. It was already there. You only wanted to fight back when somebody else came into the picture and something got revealed and you're pissed. Well, you will be. But you can't just focus on that, not wanting to deal. We're playing things over and over. Like it's done, it's dead, it's over. I'm not going to continue to read on this, guys. If you are in this situation and you are in a lot of pain, I, I wish you the best from the bottom of my heart. I hope you can move on from this more sooner than later. You will eventually, but sooner than later. Because it's still saying, this has been going down since fall, summer, fall. And it's like you're still not dealing with it. But I think it's because you thought you could pull strings. And you were in a karmic situation. So listen, you didn't lose, I promise you. I, when I was in a karmic, I wasn't like, oh, I was the loser or I lost, you know? No. Um, I've chased before, but after my me and my husband split, ex-husband, I, I, didn't, I didn't chase. I didn't want, like, this is wanting, like, the upper hand. I didn't do that, so I don't really know how to explain that to you. I did want the upper hand in other situations with catalytic energy that, you know, soon followed my ex-husband. And I know what it's like to feel a loss. But this is this is over. The universe not even gonna let you go back. But you know it is too. Something that's been over for almost an entire year. Summer's right around the corner. So by you not dealing is not going to help you. So I, I really hope that your energy shifts. To me, you're about to get news you don't like and you're gonna get real dark and real fucking ugly real quick. And you're not going to want to deal with it. And it's, it's going to build resentment. So many things. And that's not cool. you got to live your life. I want you guys to be happy too. I promise you. Your person will come along. It, it's got to be tough because you were dealing with somebody who found their person. It's a new soul contract. A new tribe. You know. Um, gosh. So please pick yourself up. Please. Please, please, please. Don't stop somebody else's happiness because you didn't win. I promise you, your person will come. Promise. But after you learn self-care, self-love... You take care of what needs to be taken care of first. Guys, it's tough. It was a challenge. It took me a year or two. Somebody had to have done the work in between this long karmic relationship because they wouldn't be able to just step into this. And you were too focused on you, 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 then to realize somebody else started focusing more on themselves and then made the decision to go in a new direction. So it's probably like, damn. It's shocking, but it, not really. Because there was already an ending in the fall. The past fall. You know what I'm saying? Or well, last summer. So this is not wanting to see something. So I, I truly wish the best for you. And if you are trying to manipulate, because I saw it, please stop. You're just going to make the situation worse. Now, other Leos. It's a new tribe new direction love's coming something's coming and this could be you finally letting go of all this and you're stepping into this but I, I doubt it that's a big message okay
Yeah, this is moving this is moving forward after, you know, being disappointed. This is a reconnection with somebody too or it's a healing energy. But this is triumph, it's victory after disappointment and it it brings balance. It is it's meant to be. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. You know, it, it, it's exactly what I just said. Um, for those who are having something brand new, congratulations. You got brand new love coming into town. Others of you, there's still a disappointing situation going on. But you're healing. Okay. Looks like the truth probably got exposed. You don't really read these reversed. So um, upright. It's it's seeing the truth. It's like an awakening. And there's, there's new love. And, and you know it. There's a little hesitation. But um, I think because all this is going down. Or you're dealing with a totally different Leo that's dealing with somebody else's karmic. And the, this energy has already moved forward, has already been let down and disappointed and hurt, um, and it's healed, and it, or it's healing, because this is still healing. And then here comes the truth and an offer, new love, from somebody that was probably dealing with a karmic situation, or you were in the ring of fire with two people, whoever this is, and you took yourself out of it, and now you have new love. You could have said, fuck this to all that. Or this is you rekindling with somebody who, you know, got themselves out of a scenario. Soulmates, soul connection, partnership, soul contract. Yeah, it's a new contract. It's a new tribe, new soul family, like I said, okay? So enjoy it. Enjoy it. I, I wish everybody the, the best, and I, um, it's like I want to send, like, good vibes. Like, this is tough. It, it, but there's some manipulation here, and so shame on you, but I, I still want the best for you, if that makes sense, no matter who you are. You know what I mean? Okay, so normally I, I would, right here, I'd be like, see on Patreon, but I just said, I'm going to keep it on YouTube, so, whoever's dealing with a karmic situation, I'll, um, play some angel messages, hope, I'm, I can't see anything kind of helping right this second, to be honest with you, but... I hope so. Spiritual understanding. I'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols to help you understand the true spiritual truths. Clear intentions. Be clear about what you desire. Focus upon them with unwaverly faith. So, I'll tell you this. If you're spiritual and you're going through this, you would understand what that's saying. If you're an outsider and you're not spiritual and you're watching, you, you wouldn't have any clue. So that means I have more people that are spiritual going through this. And by being clear with what you desire, it's not this. What do you want now? Now that this chapter of your life is over, what do you want? Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Can't have this back, right? So you got you got a deal. Everything you want wouldn't have been with this person anyway. It's karmic. There's there's always gonna be love, but it's it's not gonna be enough. 
when something's karmic, ever. So what do you really want? How do you know you can't switch this real quick and then this comes in after disappointment? Why? Because you did the right thing. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I don't see anyone doing the right thing. I'm not going to show that dark energy again. And the fact that it came up on the screen in the second video of Aries with the karmic and then me picking up on it in this one after I saw that shadow work needs to be done. So I'm not going to lie. There's some people here manipulating the energy and you get what you get. You know, because... Um, you're, you're, you're fucking with universal law. Like you, it's just, it is what it is, okay? Um, that's the part that sucks. Because it's dark. It's not depression dark. It's you not wanting to deal and still trying to, the camera, play things over and over. How can I win? How can I get this? How do I, you know what I'm saying? How do I get somebody on the same page? This hurts. I don't want to deal. So I, I can't really read into it in a more sensitive, passionate way, if that makes sense, because there is somebody here playing games with sucks. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations capitalize them upon them. Um, that brings me to part one of the... That brings me to the universal law where you take something and you use it in your advantage to manifest properly. And sensitivity. You're extremely sensitive. I was over here. You're extremely sensitive to energies right now and emotions. Honor yourself and your feelings. Be, you nurture yourself. See, that that came in in that read. That's that sensitivity I felt. It's like extra sensitive. Okay. So... There's not really much more for me to go on. I mean, there there really is if I was going to really go to the other side and do this and do that. But um, healing the inner child. Um, I don't feel the need to do that. I'm just getting a couple. They're telling me to place it over here in the middle. All right, so there was interference. There probably was a marriage with commitment. It's, it's time to heal. Yeah, numbing. It's time to heal the, the, yeah, some type of family dynamic. It's something that happened as a child, too, which is making you hold on even more. Yeah, see, you just stuck. You didn't. <laughs> and look at comic partner flew out. You didn't want to see what was going down. You were too busy trying to win and manipulate a situation that someone else on this end picked themselves up, realized what self-worth was, and decided to move forward in a new direction. And it's, it's just a lot right now. You know, um, it's just not the way you wanted it to go down. And now you're just, you're numb. But the, this, again, it stems from childhood too. There's a lot of inner work that still needs to be done. Not for everybody, but for a majority that are trying to manipulate. I want to see something real quick. Yeah, see, something's being revealed if it hasn't yet. Yeah, see, this is this was wanting to win, and someone stopped putting the effort in. You're still trying to avoid it. You didn't want to be lonely, not accepting it was over, not accepting somebody's moving forward, not accepting it was karmic, not wanting to go back to the past, stopping somebody's new path, Hoping they weren't going to figure it out. See, I, I'm just, I'm done. Uh, you do have an, an energy here that blocked and, and was nasty about the way they did it. So whatever comes in that direction goes in that direction. Okay? Because I'm telling you, that, that vibe I picked up, not good. So men and women, if you're dealing with this energy still, 
Beware. That is a big warning for you. Take the new love. And if you're getting out of this, you got new love coming. If you were dealing with a third party scenario and you were dealing with husband and wife or whoever this was to you guys and you decide to leave, you still got new love after being disappointed. Why? Because you, you picked up and left. You took yourself out of the scenario and you're still healing from a situation. So you got hurt with whatever went down here. Majority of you, this husband or wife, whoever it is, is coming your way. Others of you, you took yourself out and you got brand new love. And again, this goes right to the the energy with the um, the full moon. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye, guys.